I define intimacy disorder as something that keeps you from connecting to other human beings in an optimal sort of way. And so what happens is that the need to connect is also attached with fear of abandonment, fear of enmeshment, and fear of being hurt. And so some part of you is drawn to the other person because you're feeling so lonely or you need someone to love you. And there's an equal amount of energy put into fearing that, that closeness and the pain of it. I don't know, I remember a time when I fell in love for the first time and the girl dumped me. And I remember it felt so painful that I was said, you know, you could stick a knife in me because it was so painful. And I remember thinking to myself, you know, never again am I gonna allow myself to love like this because it just is too painful when the relationship ends. Well, each time that happens, you know, you never allow yourself to surrender as much. And now add to it, let's say you had a mother who abandoned you or a father who was not there. Well, each time that happened, you know, you 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 didn't want to need anymore. Or let's say you had a best friend who moved. Every time that happens, you know, your ability to love gets injured just a little bit more and you say to yourself, I can't allow myself to care and to love that much because when I lose it, it feels like I'm gonna die. And so the result of that is over time, you just pull further and further back till you get so far back that you're just totally alone. And so it's important to remember that now that you're an adult, that you build a family of choice and you're careful who you allow in that family of choice and then you allow yourself to love in an attuned, appropriate way. And you learn to love people who are capable of loving you back. Too often, people repeat patterns of finding people who are gonna hurt them, like hurt them in the past. And that's still a big mystery, which is the reenactment mystery, which is why do people keep picking relationships with people who are like the people who've hurt them in the past? and it's because there's unfinished business. So you end up having to work on the original abandonment in order to be able to deal with the current abandonment.